My dear friends, it's Diane here and welcome back to Deco Easy. And for everyone who is new here upon our channel, welcome to the Deco Easy channel. Um, well, the channel is hosted by me, Diane, and by my mother-in-law, Jani. We both love to decorate and yeah, we live in the Netherlands. And well, that's basically it. Today I'm participating in a new challenge. It is the Fall Coffee Bar Decor Challenge 2019. This is an open invite by Sul from My Style My Colors. And I will put a description on a link to her channel in the description box underneath the video. So you can check out her channel. She has uh, some rules for this challenge. And the first one is, well, you need to be subscribed to her channel. Yes, we are for quite a time right now. Um, you need to do two styles. Well, I'm going to do a little bit different than that because first I'm going to show you how my salon table or my coffee table is decorated right now. And then I'm going to refurbish it and create a new style. And I also need to include candles, a book and an item to re represent fall for me. Well, I think I have a lot of items inside my home to do that. Um... Yeah, and I'm first going to show you how my style is right now. Uh, I think I am done for the fall season decorating for about a month now. So, yeah, I think my salon table looks quite boring already. I want something new. And I'm going to decorate it right now today for you. But first, I am going to show you how my salon table looks like right now. Look, this is what it looks like right now. I'm going to take a step back so you can see it better. It is a, well, in my opinion, kind of rustic thing. It has neutral fall colors. And I will show you step by step how I decorated it. First, this is the most important piece. This mushroom house with a little squirrel upon the side. I have in total three of such trays inside of my home. One upon my dining table one upon my side table and you see this one up on my salon table and every tray has a different theme the theme of this one is squirrels so that's why I put the house with the squirrels upon top and the one on my dining table has hedgehog team and the one upon my side table has another team and the theme is fox. So you can see still see a little detail. This pumpkin used to be silver before, but I painted it red. It fits my pillow covers and also my Yankee candle. This is sparkling cinnamon. I bought it with 50% off, I think it was 50% off. Um, so that's about 15 or 18 euros in the Netherlands. I don't know the exact price anymore, but it was cheap and I love cinnamon candles So I really wanted to have one. I also painted this flower pot. It was blue before Now I painted it red And some different kind of statues a lot of leaves So this is actually Hello focus there you are. This is actually the style how I have it and now I'm going to redecorate it for this channel, so I'm going to have a whole new looking style. So now it's time to say goodbye to this tray. And I am going to take all the items out and I'm going to redecorate it for the, cha the challenge, I would say the channel, but the challenge for the channel of so Yeah, that's the correct sentence. But let's start by cleaning this all out. Right. So right now the tray is empty. And I was actually shocked by how many items I've used inside my tray. There's so many statues, kind of a lot of leaves. Yeah, it's a really weird thing to see, actually. Look how much. There's a mushroom. Three kinds. And another one. It's curls. Three pumpkins. A mushroom. This wooden plaque. Some greenery. And quite a lot of leaves. So now this is all empty. I'm only oops going to leave the plants behind because they're actually kind of heavy and if I move them over to this side or that side uh, the tray isn't standing 
you know, strong, it isn't stable anymore. So I'm going to leave them this way. This is actually the best. I'm also not going to remove my sheepskin because it protects my table actually from the sunlight because it is near the window, as you can see. So now I'm going to find out how I'm going to redecorate this because I need a book or maybe magazine. I don't own actually kind of a lot of books. But also I'm going to need some candles. I'm not using real candles except for Yankee candles because I'm actually quite afraid that my house catches fire or anything else happens. So what I'm using all the time are battery operated candles. And I really like that because I have a timer so when I come home uh, well, today I'm home early, but normally when I come home, they automatically turn on. They stay on for six hours, and after yeah, like six hours, they turn off to switch on. Um, yeah, the next day. So I really give you a good advice <laughs> if you're lazy as me, and if you're afraid of fire, then use uh, artificial candles with a realistic flame. They're battery operated. I think they're quite a good thing to have for your home. Um, but they also have the opportunity to place them on palm places where you don't have, you know, which you don't reach easily, like on top of my um, closet, for example. I also have some in my bedroom. They help me fall asleep. The nice is, uh, the light is nice and yellow. It has a really, really soft light. So, yeah, I'm really happy with my battery-operated candles. It took me a while to find a good brand, but right now I have a good brand. They aren't very expensive I think well two or three euros for each candle so yeah I can really yeah give you the advice buy yourself someone treat yourself with an artificial candle and make your home cozy with it so this is the base right now I already placed the magazines over there the books I don't have really have good books to lay out <clears throat> here in front of the table so I used magazines um, because they're big because I find them hard to give them a place inside this tree so that's what I did first and now I'm going to um, add some more fall decor but not as busy as it was before to the tree and also I'm going to use candles so this is the current look I have it I've added the pumpkins and also the mushroom over there now I also need to put candles inside there and some, yeah, some other fall items, maybe some leaves, but not too much anymore because I also need room for the candles and the tree isn't that big to hold all the items well. So we're almost there. I placed some battery operated candles in there, use some, yeah, I think it's artificial weed, some greenery over there. Look, these are the candles. They're from Ikea, just at the battery. And it has, as you can read up here, a six hour timer. And it will turn on pretty quickly as I take a look to the clock. So I'm going to leave it in there, just like I do so. And then I'll wait till the candle starts to We're lit. We're almost there. I've added the last part, some leaves over there, there and there. As I said, I don't want to have too much leaves because that is busy. And this looks like a relaxing spot upon my coffee table so all those items I'm not going to use I'm only using this one right now I think it looks a little bit, a little bit more rustic and yeah it gets, helps me easy relaxing actually because the table isn't that busy right now anymore so now it's time to light up these and I will show you when it automatically turns on Oh, I missed the exact moment by just a few seconds. I was waiting till they automatically turn on. But, it doesn't matter. This is how they look. Well, you can't see the effect when you're on top of it. Maybe this would do better. Make it a little bit darker. Look, the flame starts to flicker. The intensity goes up and down. You can see it right now. Can't see it. You have, really has to be darker. Look, you see what happens? That is so relaxing. Yeah, they look almost like real candles. So I was really happy with them. Camera, please. Yeah. Uh, they came in a package of I think it was three, four, six euros, something like that. And well. This is actually how my coffee table 
we'll be looking for the upcoming weeks of the full season. Going to make a close-up for you and I'm going to shut down the video. Look how beautiful. It's much more green than it was before. Yeah, there I have, get, I have to get rid of the items which I'm not going to use them anymore. I have to store them. And yeah, it makes me happy to see more of the green color. But also a little bit of red. Love the candles. Love the magazines. I love the greenery. I will always actually use artificial grass, if you see right here. Comes from the garden department, from the garden center. Cut it into smaller pieces and it's very easy to clean. You can vacuum it and that's it. We don't use actually real moss anymore since we discovered this. So this was really an outcome. All right, that was it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have some questions, write them down in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer your questions. And if you would like to subscribe, please do feel free and also feel free to give this video a like if you like what you saw. Good, I'm going to wish you a nice evening. I'm going to thank Sue for hosting this beautiful challenge. And I'm going to stand to my artificial candles because I simply find them so beautiful. Okay, thank you all for watching and have a beautiful full evening. Bye bye! <laughs>